Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can continue with the swiping between fragments and use custom data this time and have the view pager use dynamic data so it's going to change how many tabs and how much data you're going to have and it's going to update the UI accordingly. So right now I have three tabs and those tabs have different kinds of data which I'm displaying in a list right now. But what if you have data from an API that's going to change and maybe next time you fetch it from the API you're going to have more data and then you want the more, more tabs or perhaps only changing the amount of data in the lists. So I made a button here where I add another data to the view pager. So if I click this I will add another tab with another set of data. And it's pretty simple to do. So <clears throat> I'm continuing from the last code here. And the first thing we're going to do is going to go into the pager adapter. And this time, since it's dynamic data, we don't want to have a list of the fragments we're creating. We want to have a list of the data that's dynamically changing. So I'm going to have a data of a object call a person this time and uh, going to create that object now it's going to be a quite simple object um, it's just going to have a list of strings of string and I'm just going to call it bills and it's not that important what type of data is here since you can do whatever you want I'm going to create a simple constructor and a simple get method which I'm just going to generate here. So this class is almost done but to be able to send custom data as an argument here we need to make it serializable. I mentioned in the other tutorial that you actually want to make it parsable. Uh, as you see, instead of put string, we want to have put parsable. But making them parsable can be a bit tricky sometimes, and I'm not going to show it in this video. So we're just going to use serializable. But how do we make an object serializable to be able to send it here? So now it says it's not a serializable object. Well, it's pretty simple. We just type in our object that it implements the serial serializable. And now this is done. So if we go back to our swipe fragment here, this is all done now. And in our pager, we need to make this adaptable to our data instead. So I'm going to remove this from the constructor. Constructor says we want to be able to change the data dynamically. We can't have it in a constructor, it's not efficient. So we're going to remove this where we create the fragments. So Instead of creating fragments like this, we're going to use the swipe dot fragments new instance function, and we're going to get the data from the position we are in in our uh, tabs and the adapter here. So we just type person dot get the position we are at, and it will create a fragment with the data depending on what position we are in the tabs and this, the pager at the moment. So the get item count is going to be dependable on our data we have here. I hope this is making sense. And how do we set the data? We just make a function here, set person. But how does this pager know that we have set this data? It's dependent on the data here. So we have to notify that the data set has been changed. That's all. Uh, you actually want to have that the type, what kind of position has the data been changed in? Because this is not efficient either, but I'm going to use this for demo purposes. So now our pager class is done. Uh, pager adapter class is done. And then we'll go back to our pager fragment because we need to make some adjustments here. Since we're not going to have a list of fragments anymore, we're going to have a list of persons. It's going to type person list. 
and can remove this. I'm going to copy paste just a list of random data here I'm creating. So it's just four different persons with different kinds of lists inside them with some random strings. And then we will add this data to our new data set here. I'm going to copy paste this three times only since I'm going to add the last data dynamically here. And the page adapter now don't have the constructor anymore. So we're going to use the function we created set person and person list and that is done. But we need to create a button here so I can demo it. I'm going to make this a bit smaller. Button and a cool text press add person like this perfect then I will just make a simple unclick unclick function here view dot on click listener implement this and the only thing we need to do now since the, the adapter already has the view page already has the adapter we only need to set the data again here so we just set the, the data to our adapter but we also need to before that add person the last person here so this is done this is it will notify that the data set has been changed to a view page and will update the ui and in this fragment, I'm going to make a simple list view here. Give it an ID, list view. Go back to the swipe fragment. We don't need this anymore. Um, so now we need to get the person we're sending here as an argument. And it's the same thing as before. I'm going to make this very self-explanatory by creating this so it's this person is equal to get the arguments or to change this tag or key to person get argument that get serializable since we're setting a serializable object here serializable key is person and we get an error here and that's because this doesn't know what kind of serializable object are we getting and we just cast this to a person and I'm going to create a simple adapter, array adapter for our list view. And this is the new array adapter. And we need a context and the layout for the list. I'm just going to use Android's own simple layout here. And what data we're sending? I'm sending the person's bills, which is a list. So now we have a list. And then we need to set the adapt set the lists views adapter equal to the adapter we created like this and I'm pretty sure this is all we need so here now we have the tabs we're creating a list with the data and oh there I got a notification and I got the new data from the UI, you need to make some kind of view model and repository that listens to when you get new data from the API, which I'm not going to choose, but it's going to sh show you, but it's going to be the same kind of logic. So we press this button and whoops, we have a new set of data here. So the UI is adapting to the data just by notifying the adapter that the data set has been changed. And I can do this how many times I want. And we have unlimited tabs here. Uh, I hope this was possible to follow. I got the request in the comment to make to show how this is possible to do, and just write in our comment if uh, this was not a good explanation. I will try to do it again. So thanks for watching. Bye bye.